All right, so over here we have some detergent, liquid detergent. This is lemon juice. This is vinegar. This is some oil. This is normal water and this is salty water. And we have red and blue litmus paper for each spoon. So what we will do is we will we will let each litmus paper come in contact with the substances over here and we will observe the color change if there is any to the litmus paper. All right, so let's begin. So let's start with a red litmus paper and bring it in contact with the liquid detergent. Red litmus paper turns blue like this. So this means that liquid detergent is a base. A base can turn a red litmus paper blue. Okay, now let's bring bring the blue litmus paper in contact with the detergent. So we see there is no color change really. That means when blue litmus papers, when they come in contact with bases, they do not show any color change. Okay, now let's move on to the lemon juice. So I have the red litmus paper with me. Again, there is no, there is no color change, which, which tells us that lemon juice might be, might be acidic. Let's see what happens when, when we take in the blue litmus paper. So did you see that? The blue litmus paper turned red, which tells us that lemon juice is slightly acidic. It is acidic in nature. Okay, now this is vinegar. We took two papers, but as you can see, nothing's happening to the red litmus paper, right? When it comes in contact with the nigger. Let's take the blue one now. And there you go, it turns red, which tells us that even vinegar is slightly acidic. Okay, now this is oil. Again, no color change for red litmus paper. And also no color change for blue litmus paper. No change in the color of the red litmus paper tells us it could either be acidic or neutral. But there was no change also in the blue litmus paper. So that means this, this substance is neutral. It is neither acidic nor basic. A substance will be neutral if there is no change in color for both red and blue litmus papers. Okay, take a prediction now. What do you expect to see when litmus papers come in contact with normal water and salty water? Alright, let's see. So no color change with red. And no color change with blue litmus paper. That means that water is neutral. Again, no color change with red litmus paper for salty water. And still for blue litmus paper, we do not see any, any change in color whatsoever, even for salty water. This shows that even salty water is neutral in nature. All right, so litmus papers act as indicators and it can tell whether a substance is acidic or basic by changing its color. So if a blue litmus paper turns red, when it comes in contact with a substance, then that substance must be acidic. If a red litmus paper turns blue when it comes in contact with a substance, then that is base. 